Today on this 2015 Chevrolet Silverado 2500, you'll be taking a look at and being shown how to install the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number C13178. Here's what our hitch looks like installed. What's great about this hitch is that the concealed cross tube design gives us the appearance of having a factory hitch. On the side of our hitch, you'll find our industry standard 5 8 of an inch diameter hitch pinhole to secure any of our hitch mounted accessories. Welded on the bottom of our receiver, we have this plate style safety chain attachment point, and they have a fairly large opening, so we shouldn't have much problem hooking on most safety chains out there, so we have the hookup between our trailer and our truck. This hitch features an 800 pound max gross tongue weight rating, which is the amount forcing down, and an 8,000 pound max gross trailer weight rating, which is the amount it can pull. It does support the use of weight distribution. And when you're using weight distribution in your trailer, the max gross tongue weight rating increases to 1,200 pounds, and the max gross trailer weight rating increases to 12,000 pounds. You wanna make sure that you consult with the owner's manual of your vehicle and not exceed what the truck is rated for. Now for a few measurements to better assist you in choosing any hitch mounted accessory you may need, such as a ball mount, bike rack, or a cargo carrier. You're looking at about 22 and a half inches from the ground to the top of the two inch receiver opening and about two inches from the center of the hitch pin hole to the rearmost part of the back bumper. Now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get it installed. We've already gone ahead and removed our spare tire. You'll need to do the same in order to install the hitch. Now we need to begin the process to remove our factory bumper hitch, which already exists on the vehicle. Now right behind where our license plate resides, we'll have two 13 millimeter bolts, one on each side that we need to remove. The side of each frame rail where our factory bumper hitch bracket comes up behind our leaf spring shackle, we'll find two 21 millimeter bolts that we need to remove. It's the same on both sides. Now we have one final bolt on each side underneath we have another 21 millimeter bolt. At this point, we'll remove these bolts with an extra set of hands to hold the hitch up. Okay, now that we have our bumper beam out of the way, we'll point out our attachment points. We'll be using this weld nut here where one of the factory bolts was in place at but we will be using a new 14 millimeter bolt with a conical tooth washer. The teeth will face up towards the hitch and the frame. And then we will use this forward most hole in the frame right here, not the one that's closest to our leaf spring hanger, but the forward one. For that, we'll use a spacer block and our longer carriage bolt. And we'll just drop this through the opening through our frame down through the hole. Now keep in mind that anything that we do on one side of the vehicle will repeat on the other side. The upper hole here where we removed the bolt that held our factory hitch bracket in place for the bumper hitch, we'll reinstall that one because it does help support the actual bumper itself. Okay, now with an extra set of hands, we'll raise our hitch into position and we'll secure it with our bolt. Just leave it loose for right now. We'll put a flange nut on our carriage bolt for the forward attachment point. Okay, now we'll take one of our side brackets and the factory bolt that we removed, go through the round hole and reinstall it into the bottom location in the side of our frame. Now we'll take two short carriage bolts, insert them through the bracket and the hitch. You may have to lift up on the hitch slightly in order to get them in position. And then on the inside of the hitch, we'll put flange nuts on those carriage bolts. Now we'll tighten down all of our hardware.
Now we'll torque our hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. Now you can take the opportunity to reinstall your spare tire. Rest assured it'll fit perfectly around the hitch without any conflict. However, for video purposes today, we will not be doing that. And that completes a look at and being shown how to install the Kirk Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C13178, on this 2015 Chevrolet Silverado 2500.